Today's project is the Bella Rose scarf. To start, we need to make a slip knot. To make a slip knot, make a circle with the yarn by putting the cut end of the yarn on top of the end that's still attached to the ball. Put your hand underneath and through the loop, grab the yarn that's still attached to the ball, and pull through the loop. Place the slip knot on your needle. Pull the end to make the knot a little tighter, but don't make the knot too tight, keep it a little loose. Now hold the needle with the knot in your left hand. We need to make more loops on our left needle. We're going to make each new loop in four steps. Step one with your right needle, put it up through the loop on your left needle. Step two, pick up the end of the yarn that is attached to the ball and wrap behind and around your right needle. Step three, pull your right needle through to the front, catching the new loop. Step four, put the new loop back on your left needle. Now we're going to do it again. Step one, put your right needle up through the loop. Step two, wrap the yarn behind and around the right needle. Step three, pull your right needle through the front. Step four, put the new loop back on the left needle. Again, step one, step two, step three, step four. One, two, three, four. This is called casting on, and you're going to keep doing this until you have 16 loops or stitches on your needle. Now we are going to knit each stitch. The knit stitch is also done in four steps. Step one, put your right needle up through the first loop on your left needle. Step two, wrap the yarn behind and around your right needle. Step three, pull your right needle through to the front, catching the new loop. Step four is now different. Slide the loop off of the left needle. Now we're going to knit the next stitch. Step one, step two, step three, Step four, slide it off. To make the Bella Rose scarf, you will be making the purl stitch in addition to the knit stitch. Now we are going to make two purl stitches. First, bring the yarn between the needles to the front of the project. This time, step one will be to bring the right needle through the front of the left stitch. Step two, wrap the yarn around from right to left around the front needle. This is the same direction as the knit stitch. Step three, push your right needle through to the back. Step four, slide the stitch off of the left needle. Do it again. Step one, right needle into the front of the stitch. Step two, wrap the yarn around the front needle. Step three, push the needle through to the back. Step four, slide the stitch off. Now bring the yarn to the back to make two knit stitches. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Keep the yarn in the back to make another knit stitch. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Now bring the yarn to the front to make a purl stitch. Step one, step two, step three, Step four, slide the stitches up the needle as needed to be able to continue to purl the next stitch. When you've worked all of your stitches to the end, put the needle with the stitches back in your left hand to start the next row. In this stitch pattern, there are two knit stitches followed by two purl stitches and then repeated. Work until your scarf measures about 28 inches long. Now you need to get your stitches off of the needles. This is called binding off. First, you're going to knit the first two stitches as before. Now take the left needle tip and put it into the first stitch you knit on your right needle. Pull the right needle through to the front as if you're doing step three of the knit stitch. 
slide the stitch off. Knit the next stitch. Again, put your left needle tip into the first stitch and pull the right needle through to the front. Slide the stitch off. Knit another stitch. Bind off again. Knit another stitch. Bind off. Slide your stitches from the cable to the needle as needed. Continue to bind off until you have only one stitch remaining on your right needle. Pull the yarn out from the ball and leave about three times the width of the end of the scarf. You are going to use the yarn to sew the ends of the scarf together. Cut the yarn. Now remove your needle from the last stitch and pull the yarn through the loop to make a knot. Put your scarf aside while you make the fringe. To make fringe, you will cut pieces of yarn 12 inches long. You will need three pieces of yarn for each fringe. Hold the three pieces of fringe yarn together, folded in half. Push the loop end of the fringe through the first stitch on the long edge of the scarf. Push all ends of the yarn through the loop of the fringe. Pull to tighten. Repeat again with another set of three pieces of yarn. Fold it in half. Push the loop end of the fringe through another stitch on the long edge of the scarf, about an inch away from the first fringe. Put the ends of the yarn through the loop and pull. Repeat with next fringe and continue across one long edge of the scarf. Now you are going to sew the ends of the scarf together. Fold the end of the scarf over to line up with the other end. You are going to use the long yarn tail to sew the ends of the scarf together. Put the yarn through a stitch on the opposite end of the scarf. Pull the yarn through. Go back to the first scarf end and find the next stitch up. Put the yarn up through the next stitch. Go back to the opposite end and find the next stitch up. Pull the yarn through the stitch. Continue to sew the ends of the scarf with the yarn, going back and forth from one side to the next, working your way up to the top. When you finish sewing the ends, stretch out the ends to make sure you haven't pulled the sewing yarn too tight. Now you need to weave in the ends. Poke the end of the yarn through to the inside of the scarf. 
Push the yarn end through a few stitches going in one direction. Then come back in the other direction. You are going to weave the end back and forth a few times. Repeat with the other tail. Cut off any remaining yarn. Congratulations! You have finished your Bella Rose scarf.